It's a staple in Hawaii's tourism-based economy, and it's disappearing before our eyes. We're talking about the beach in Waikiki, and now state officials want to hear from you. Dallas Ontiveros joins us now live with a look at just how bad conditions are getting. Dallas, a real eye-opener for a lot of people who haven't been there in a while. Good morning, Christine. That's right. It's an eye opener and also an eyesore, especially when you look at this right here, which used to be a public access trail to the beach here. And you could see the exposed plumbing right over here in this section. And you can also see some boards as well, sandbags, some caution tape, and also some exposed plumbing over here in this area. And this is just one of the few problems that our Waikiki beaches have had due to erosion and other factors built over time. But what the Department of Land and Natural Resources is doing is that their Office of Conservation and Coastal Lands will be hosting a virtual scoping meeting today with the Environmental Impact Statement Preparation Notice for the Waikiki Beach Improvement and Maintenance Program, which means that there's going to be proposed beach improvement and maintenance projects in the Fort de Rusi, Halakulani, Royal Hawaiian, and Kohio Beach sectors. And these projects would include new beach stabilization structures, also the recovery of offshore sand and its placement on the shoreline. So it's it's really supposed to bring a change and just make things a whole lot safer for the years to come. You know, one thing that's been talked about when it comes to our Department of Land and Natural Resources is that our Waikiki beaches can look very different by the end of this century. It doesn't seem too long away, but it really does have our grandchildren, our great grandchildren in mind, and what kind of Hawaii they will see in the next 100 years if they're able to live that long. But we're going to be showing you more details of what our Waikiki beaches have been through. But you can already head over to our website at khon2.com where you can learn more about that virtual meeting that's happening today at 2 p.m. Until then, reporting from the Waikiki area, Dallas Navarro's KH2 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you, Dallas.